Here's the situation real quick to you guys. I already did response, but just open up your mind. Before you get in your feelings, before you get in your fucking feelings, and you get in the comments down below and start internet thugging and shit like that, just take a moment and take a step back. Open up your mind and just maybe, maybe, I might have a little bit of a point, you guys. Just think about it a little bit. In a world full of absurdity, in a world full of lies, the truth sounds like a fucking personal attack to you and your life, you guys. Just take a step back, right? Just just open up your mind, take a deep breath, and now let's get into the fucking response, y'all. I really this is gonna be a very, very unpopular video, you guys. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt some of y'all feelings, man. I'm gonna just, I'm just keep it I'm gonna keep it a buck with it. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what he said. The dude that punched six nine, and then I'm gonna show you guys a video of six nine, and then I'm gonna give you guys my response on that shit. In hindsight, do you wish you handled it differently, or was that just the right thing to do in the moment? It was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do. You know, it, it was definitely the right thing to do. Hopefully, that humbled him a little bit, because now he's out trying to pass. He's out passing out money and all that, trying to you know make everybody in the streets and so on like have like sympathy in his heart and all that. No, you're not that type of person, man. You're doing this for a look. You're not, you can't, you can't be good and evil, man. Pick a side, you know, pick a side. You can't be out here telling people I'm outside. I'll do this to you. I'll do that to you. And then turn around, pass out money and stuff like that and say, tell everybody, you know, oh, I'm the nicest guy in the world. It's not how it works. That's not how that works. I'm just tired of this guy, you know, bullying everybody, dog. But like, he's bullying too many people and so on. And then he came in the club. And when he came in the club, he kept video video on our section, and his guys kept walking past us. We don't know that dude, like we don't know him. And they kept videoing us and stuff like that. Then on his story, he posts n words. It's p u s s y. We outside, and you know, it just it just hit a nerve, man. It's like, like why is you doing all that? Like why? Yo, his security just like pushed me all the way out the way, just pushed me. So it kind of pissed me off. And, you know, I've had problems with that security before. And, um, you know, it kind of pissed me off. But I was like, it is what it is. And then as I'm standing there, another security just walks by and just steps on my shoes. And it, like, steps on my shoes and, like, just slight elbow over again. And I'm like, yo, we bought bottles. We got a section. You know, like, like we got, you know, every right to be in here as well. Just because this guy is walking by, that don't mean nothing. He's a regular human. He's a human being. I don't care if he had, if he was the richest person in the world, he's still a regular human being. So even with the people in your section or the people that's around you, they they trying to be bullies and stuff like that with you just because you feel like you're a bully or whatever the case may be. We're not going for that. Okay, first and foremost, you guys, here's the issue. One one of the issue, I want to say this real quick. The dude talking about how Six not throwing money out here and shit like that, giving away money. First and foremost, no other fucking rapper is actually going out there and giving money out. Even if it is for the fucking look. The motherfucker's giving cash. He been doing that before he got locked up with Treyway. No other fucking rapper is out here giving the amount of cash that that nigga is doing aside from Drake. Drake did it in God's plan. Who else is doing it like that? Lil Wayne, Boosie, Future, Young Thug, Gunna. None of them niggas give a fuck about other niggas, man. Shut the fuck up with that shit, bro. I hate when up, uh, bro. This is the, this is the issue. Black people are fucking losing. Those motherfuckers are bozos, fucking clowns. Oh, he deserved it. Oh, yeah, he's over here bullying motherfuckers. Bro, you just butt hurt over some shit. How's he? He ain't bullying nobody. He's exploiting the motherfuckers out here. Here's the situation with this shit, man. Older black men, I, bro, they're a dub. Older black men are fucking losers. I understand why Cynthia G and all these other women say what the fuck they say. Their mindsets are fucking kids. You guys are fucking kids. You guys have got to get your mindset together, bro. Why the fuck are you worried about some little 24-year-old rainbow-colored motherfucker out here, bro? You got other shit to worry about. Go get a fucking house. If you got a house, why don't you flip motherfucking houses? You over here worried about punching a motherfucker, bro? You, the nigga giving money out here. What the fuck? No other rappers doing that type of shit. And then let me say this real quick to you guys. Bro, black people have got to evolve. We're not evolving. Black people are not evolving. Look at, bro, white guys, 
white men, white boys nowadays, they ain't like how they used to be. When I was in high school, these white boys now, they are not like how they used to be. These white boys got swag and they got the intelligence. They know what the fuck is going on in this motherfucking world. But you know what niggas is doing? Still killing each other trying to do the hood shit. Still trying to go for the same shit. Black guys have got to evolve. Y'all we're talking about, oh man, white girls, these white girls are evolving, they get ass, they do. Yeah, well guess what, the white guys are too. The white boys are definitely evolving, they leaving y'all motherfuckers in the fucking dirt. I say y'all because I'm not leaving in the dirt, I got a library full of books. I read, I study shit. This hood, street shit, it's a dub, but that shit's easy to fucking master and shit like that, man. Nobody wanna get involved with that gang shit, that shit's stupid, it's dumb. Y'all fucking losing, losers. That motherfucker's a fucking loser. Shit. I would've took a fucking hit to the face. If I got millions of dollars, you're a fucking bozo. Motherfucker got an interview for TMZ thinking he's doing something for the fucking community. Thinking he Martin Luther King for a bunch of 6 9 Fucking stupid, bro. That is so fucking stupid. Fucking dumbass. I wish I could talk to that motherfucker. Talk to I will say it just like this. And guess what he's probably gonna do? he be like, where you at, nigga? Where you at, nigga? I'm gonna shoot you, bro. You ain't gonna talk that shit. You ain't gonna talk this shit in person, nigga. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. Nigga moment from the boondocks. Motherfuckers ain't got nothing to live for. The motherfuckers don't have any kind of self-fucking respect for themselves, you guys. Nothing. Nothing. Why would you do some shit like that? Stupid. You a fucking bozo. Fucking clown. How old are you? Why are you doing that? Don't you got other shit to do? How does it even make sense? Motherfucker giving out money. No other rappers giving out money like 6ix9ine is. Stupid. Stupid. Old ass motherfuckers. Bro, this is why the community is so trash. Ain't no fucking leaders out here, man. All these grown ass adults are fucking kids and grown bodies, man. Motherfuckers don't age. Damn. It's just sad. Sad. Motherfuckers need to be whipped in these motherfucking streets. I take that Gucci butt off your fucking waist. Spank your ass, motherfucking little ass kids in grown bodies. How you acting like that? Grow the fuck up, man. God. Black men, y'all gotta do better than this shit, man. This shit is trash. Trash, man. Trash. The fuck? The other thing is, like, the motherfucker's thinking he's doing something righteous by standing up for the fucking culture by smacking 6 9 and saying that 6 9 is evil. Who the fuck are you defending? You defending some gangsters that kill other niggas that look just like you. They fucked his baby mama. Who the, what the fuck are you defending? What the fuck are you defending? What the fuck? Are you defending? He feels so righteous that he did the right thing. What the right thing was to smack 6 9 punch him in the face for the culture? Fucking dub. Loser. What? Bro. These motherfuckers want to defend gangster motherfuckers, bro. Why do you want your kid? Why would you want your kids to grow up in an environment like that, man? Like, bro, these niggas got bitch-ass mindsets. Bitches mindsets, bro. They think like little fucking teenage girls, bro. Swear. They, like, like, don't you... I, I, I just... It, it, I, I can't even speak because, like, I, I just can't understand it. I can't understand the fucking mindset. You know what my auntie told me, actually? She's like, you know what? She said, you know what? My nickname is Mickey. They call me Mickey. She's like, you know what, Mickey? You're different. The reason why your mindset is different is because you got a little Hispanic blood in you. You're not all the way black. So that's probably why you're not into the street shit. You're not all the way fucking retarded on some shit. And you know what? I, I, I said no. I said no. You know, I'm like, don't, 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 do black, don't, don't, don't do black men like that, you guys. But you know what? The more that I see motherfuckers like this out here on, on the internet, talking this shit out here, speaking like that... OG in the background, bro. Look at the, look at the fucking OG in the background, dog. Like motherfucking looking like, yeah, man, yeah, you you, you speaking that good shit, bro. You right about that, dog. Niggas is stupid, bro. What the fuck? Go learn, go learn about fucking like plants or some shit. Go learn about real estate. Learn about taxes or some shit, you guys. Why the fuck are you doing this gangster shit? You defending the gangster code? 
This is a menace to society. You're gonna you're gonna end up freaking going to jail or getting killed or killing other motherfuckers that look just like you. Stupid.